In this video, I want to talk about some basic probability. If we want to find the probability of an event E occurring, we denote it by this P of E. It's equal to the number of outcomes in my event divided by the total number of outcomes in the sample space. And one thing to note is that this probability is always going to be between 0 and 1. It can include 0 and 1, but it will always be between 0 and 1. Another big property, the sum of all the probabilities in a sample space is 1. Let's do an example demonstrating this. Let's suppose we toss two coins. We want to find the probability of tossing two heads, one head, or zero heads. So first, let's think through this sample space. I did this in a previous video, but we'll do it again. We could get two heads. We could get a heads and a tails. We can get a tails and a heads or two tails. So if I'm looking at two heads, there's one possible way to get two heads out of a total of four possible outcomes. For one head, there's two possible ways to do that, an HT or a TH, still four possible outcomes. And there's one way to get zero heads, which is to get two tails out of four possible outcomes. And we can say that if we add these three possibilities up, we get one. Let's suppose we roll a die. We want to know the probability of rolling a two. Well, there is one side of a die that has a two on it out of a total of six sides. What about the probability of getting a number greater than six? There are no numbers greater than six on a die out of a total of six sides, so the probability there would be zero. What about the probability of a number less than seven? The entire die has numbers less than seven. It's numbers one through six. So that would be a probability of one. There are six sides that have less than seven out of a total of six sides. The probability of an even number greater than two. On a die, we have the even numbers two, four, and six. So two of those would be greater than two out of a total of six sides or one third. The probability of an even prime number well, there's only one even prime number, which is two out of a total of six sides. And the probability of an odd number less than or equal to three. Well, that would be one or three. So two out of six sides or one third. Let's suppose we draw a card from a standard deck of cards. I want to know the probability of drawing a queen. There are four queens in a deck and a total of 52 cards, so 4 out of 52, or 1 out of 13. What's the probability of drawing a red card? Well, we could think through how many red cards are in a deck and how many total cards there are, but we should also know that half of the cards are red and half are black, so 1 half. What about the probability of a red queen? Well, now we have two red queens in the deck. There are four queens total, two are black and two are red out of 52, or one out of 26. The probability of a diamond, we may know that there are 13 diamonds out of 52 cards, or that diamonds represent a quarter of the cards, since there are four suits that are evenly distributed, so one fourth. Finally, the probability of the queen of diamonds. There is one queen of diamonds out of a total of 52 cards. 